Welcome to the FEMAP 10.3 What's New video series. In this video we'll take a look at the new FEMAP free body tool that provides a powerful way of graphically displaying load transfer in a model. Free body data is obtained from a number of potential sources, including the grid point force balance results, applied loads, and constraint equation force results. These data requests have to be set up prior to running the analysis. The free body tool streamlines the process of creating force balance and free body diagrams and is a part of the post processing toolbox. The free body tool is a separate object and can be stored in the FEMAP database along with the associated calculation options, which means that the displays created by the tool can be reproduced easily. The free body tool is also supported in the API. There are two types of display available, one for free body diagrams only, which is the simplest approach, and the second for interface loads and which provides more control over the display. There are six types of free body loads available and you can control which will contribute to the free body display by checking or unchecking the appropriate boxes. Let's take a look at the free body first. Elements for the free body can be selected as entities or by group. If we select all elements, we can see for this wing box model the applied loads at the tip and the consequent reaction loads at the root. Now let's take a look at the interface load display. For the interface load display, you can specify the components that will participate in the total summation vector, which provides a force summation and moment calculation for all the nodal summations at a given point. Notice that you can also set up multiple free body displays in FEMAP. In this case, we are going to view the interface shear loads between the spar and the skin in the middle bay of the model. Note that we also pick up a local coordinate system that has already been created to align the loads along the spar cap in that area. We then select the relevant elements for the upper skin and nodes that are positioned along the top of the spar. Regarding the total summation vector, you can opt to leave it placed at the origin or position it in the center of the free body nodes selected. Once FEMAP has created the display, all of the associated data is fully accessible, and you can opt to output it to the messages pane or to the data table. From there, the data can be copied to the clipboard and then into another application such as Microsoft Excel. The free body tool also offers extensive control of which vectors, nodal, summation, loads and moments are included in the display and whether they are shown as components or a resultant. There is also control of vector colors and free body node markers. In view properties you can control other attributes including symbol sizes and vector lengths. So the free body tool in FEMAP gives you complete control of free body diagram setup and display. To find out more, visit us at siemens.com slash plm slash FEMAP or call your local channel partner.